Hello, today we're going to be going over a neat strategy for getting more subscribers in your blog using the WordPress plugin. What would Seth Godin do? Um, first, I'll just show you kind of what this is going to look like. So, you can also do this on pages. I just have it on the blog. So, I go to my blog, and you can see here that it adds this little uh, box that says, If you're new here, you may want to subscribe to my RSS feed. Thanks for visiting. First, I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I'm going to show you another quick strategy for using this box and maybe making it so it's an email alert uh, call to action instead of just an RSS feed. But first, we'll focus on this. So, first thing you want to do is install the plugin. Go to your dashboard, go to plugins, hit add new. I should also add there is a table of contents below if you need to skip ahead for any reason. Um, all you're going to do is search what would Seth Godin do. And you're going to search plugins, and it's right here by Richard K. Miller. Uh, I also put a link in the description where you can download it directly. All right. So I already installed it, so what I'm going to do is go down to the left and go to set. So once you're installed, you go to your settings, and then you go down to WWSGD. And this is where you can customize message. I'm just going to leave that for now. Um, number of repetitions. So right now I have it so that it's like 900 something, 9 million times they show because you really only want this message to show the first couple of times the person comes to your website to try to get them to sign up for alerts because, you know, unless they really stay loyal and they keep coming back, you're hoping they subscribe so that they're reminded to come back after that first two, one or two visits. Uh, I just put this really high number in here so that I could actually demonstrate what it does because I've also, I've obviously been on my website a number of times so it would stop showing up. All right, so when you're doing it, you're going to want to change this to about 3. Uh, the default that it will be is 5. You can leave it at 5 if you want. I just thought that was a little high, so I had it at 3. Uh, I'm just going to put my crazy number back in so that we can still see it when we, just, when we demonstrate. Uh, you can also have a message to people that have visited your website more than more than however many times you put up uh, up above. And you could say, welcome back. You say, thank you for visiting my blog again. Did you subscribe yet? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to leave that blank. I don't really think it's that necessary to do that, but you know, it's up to you. Uh, locations, you can make it before post or after post. Um, or if you're coding your own theme, you could you could pick exactly where you want it. Um, you know, if I was doing my own theme, I might not even put it above the post. I might make make it like a widget that only shows up for the first time. But if you're uh, a novice and you're just trying to find a, a quick, easy way to add these, then I would do it before the post. Um, and you have the option to do post and pages. I think it's really unnecessary to have it on the post first. But if you want to have it on pages also, that's fine. You just select this option here. And so if you put it on the pages but you still don't want it on your home page, you can all, all you have to do is put the, the page ID for the home page uh, right in this box. Save your settings. All right. Now I'm just gonna let's just look at it real quick again. Go to the blog. If you're new here, you may want to subscribe to my RSS feed. If they click on RSS feed, it just brings up a nice little pop up. Um, personally, I don't really use RSS feed, so I don't know how useful. Um, this would be, but if somebody wants to subscribe to your RSS, it's right in their face and they can do it. Now, there's another way to do this also. Uh, if you go to, this is the actual plugin site, and what he's actually done is, if you're new, you may want to subscribe to my RSS feed or my email alerts. That's actually what I would use. I would want, I'd rather this just say my email alerts. So if you go over here, and you'll see what he did. You click on email alerts, and then it basically just brings you to another pa a new page called subscribe, and that just has um, a sign up and an embedded feed burner box for. So whatever you use for, um, if you subscribe to, if you use feed burner, just put your embed box there for subscribing to alerts. If you don't have feed burner, you don't have any way of people subscribing to your blog. Um, I have made a tutorial about using feed burner, and I've. Uh, Put a link in the description to that tutorial so you can kind of get two done at once. Uh, the only thing you're going to need to know how to do is to um, code the this in here. So you see where it says you may want to subscribe to my RSS feed. You could change that to say change RSS feed to say email alerts. Well, it doesn't have to. 
should be uppercase. Okay, subscribe to my email alerts and then you need to change the link. So, let's say I made, so then you would have to make a new page, new page, and we'll call it subscribe. my blog and then you'll put um, you'll you'll embed your embed box here sign up box here and publish all right once that's done just view the page real quick all right and this is where the subscribe would be take your link out of your address bar go back and then right here where you see this link right here where it was going to the feed, I'm just going to go paste this here to my blog. Let's save settings. Now let's look at the blog again. All right, now you'll see it now says, if you're new here, you may want to subscribe to my email alerts. Thanks for visiting. Now I click on email alerts, and then it brings me to the subscribe. All right, so this has been another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials give you the keys to WordPress and put you in fast success. Uh, plenty more on our website um, at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. You can also subscribe to this channel for more.